Hey guys, I have a Discord server. You guys should totally join our community. I'm also really active on Twitch as well as social media, like Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. If you guys want to follow me and stay up to date with everything, check out all the links in the description down below. And I guess enjoy the video. Today we're going to check out a bunch of CSGO skins that should be in the game. These are all in the workshop and I don't know, what do you guys think? I've made videos like this in the past and I've actually been right with the Apotheris. Actually, I did check it out and it did get put into the game later on. So some of these skins could be put into the game in future cases. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. All right, so the first skin is the Op the Empress. There's already, of course, the AK Empress, and then there's the M4A4, the Emperor. But what if they also had an Op the Empress as well? This is like what that would be like. And in my opinion, I think this is a really cool design. It's not the exact same as the AK Empress, and this one actually looks a little bit better. So I feel like this skin definitely has potential to be put in the game, but I don't really know if they would do that, though, because there's already the Empress and the Emperor. Like, would they put another Empress in the game? They might. I mean, I think the design for this skin looks really sick. So in my opinion, I think this definitely has potential to make it into the game because I mean it's already it's another version of a skin that's already in the game just this one's a little bit different because obviously if you make it look exactly the same as the AK the Empress no one's gonna want to want it so you know they mix it up a little bit here's a higher quality image of it basically so you can see all the little details so there's basically the Empress right here oh, oh with a sword arm that's actually cool so she has a sword arm there's a couple of arrows going through her with some blood dripping down you get all these little symbols right here you have all these like little you have all these patterns just everywhere and it's a really it's a really well designed skin it definitely looks really cool all right next skin here's another skin that i think would be really really sick in csgo the usps nightfire dragon and um this is a bit of an outdated picture i need <laughs> i need an actual like in-game inspect of it okay here we go here's a good picture of it so this is what the usps nightfire dragon looks like in game and it definitely reminds me of the kamicho dragon actually i believe it was made by the same person as the kamicho dragon and there aren't any like usps's like kind of like this. I feel like this is a little bit like the USPS Neo Noir mixed with the USPS Kill Confirmed. So it's a little bit purplish and reddish. So it's like the two colors kind of mixed together. So it's if they put this in the game, it would give you another option. The Kill Confirmed, the Neo Noir, or this. Now, I don't know if Valve would put this skin in the game. I think it looks really cool personally, but well, you know, it's up to Valve. So, <laughs> but honestly, though, I definitely like the design of it. I love the color palette. I love the way it looks. And I feel like this would be a perfect addition to any U to any collector, basically. If you're looking for a USPS, this would be a really solid option for pretty much anybody. And I'm assuming it would probably be either a... I don't think this would be a covert. I think it would either be a classified or a restricted. So it might be a cheaper alternative to the more expensive USPSs. If they put this in the game, I feel like a lot of people would use it just because it has a cool design. And here you go. And you can check the different conditions. And, and it actually gets darker as it gets more battle scarred. Uh, but in Factory New, it definitely looks way sicker. And here's a little animation of the guy putting on the suppressor. That's kind of cool how it kind of changes colors because it's like purple on the bottom and then red on the top. That's definitely a nice little like touch. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Next skin. All right, this is a really unique skin. This is a skin that I would love to see in the game. So somebody essentially made a holographic like skin in CSGO. It's not a sticker. This is an actual skin in the game. Well, not in the game, but this is an actual skin in the workshop. And you can see as the light changes, as the light moves, uh, the designs actually change just a little bit. So like when you turn, this thing has a cool little holographic uh, like effect to it. Like just by looking at the colors and stuff and looking at the, the design, it's not like the craziest, coolest design I've ever seen in my entire life. It's it's relatively simple, uh, but the whole holographic design, like the fact that it basically changes the way it looks depending on which way you're turned is definitely really cool. And the fact that it also changes all the time makes it even better too. But I mean, yellow and blue, eh, not really the prettiest colors in the world. I would have liked it if they picked some better colors, like maybe some, I don't know, maybe like purplish right here. And then they could have stuck, they could have stuck with the blue, but they could have gone with like darkish blue or purple instead of yellow. That's like one change that I definitely would have made. Oh, and I think this guy actually does have a skin in the game. Oh. <laughs> the AUG version of this skin is actually in the game, so I think this... I mean, there's definitely potential. Okay, so this is what it actually looks like in game, and it looks sick. It looks really, really cool. Obviously, this doesn't really do it justice, but yeah, I mean, if they put this in the game, it would be one of the most unique skins, and I think it would be it would be worth a decent amount, just because it's one of the only skins that really changes when you move around. But would it be too distracting? That That's the argument you can make. Regardless, I, I think this would make an amazing skin in CSGO, and I would love to see the FAMAS Hollow Spectacle in CSGO. Next skin. This is basically a default 
default Mac 10 with pretty much no skin on it that has a cool little ice effect. And the more battle scarred it gets, the less icy it is. The more factory new it is, the more ice there is on it. But even if even in like factory new though, there's not really that much there's not a whole lot of ice on it. Like I think one of the things that would make this skin better would be a little more color to it. If there was like a skin behind this and the skin got more or less frozen, that'd be kind of cool. Like if it was like maybe rusty or s I don't know. Like in terms of suggestions for like what they could change it to to make it look better, I don't really know. They could even make it like red or blue just to make it stand out more. And then of course it could get more icy over time. I guess one thing that would make sense is maybe they could design it like something that would get frozen. I, I don't know. I mean, it's a cool design. It's an original design and we haven't seen anything like this before in CSGO where it's the default skin, but just with a little bit of ice on it. And I would, I would like to see this in the game personally but i think it sh it shouldn't be the default mac 10 with the ice effect it should be another skin altogether i don't know what do you guys think it just kind of bugs me a little bit but really sick design though good job to the guy who made it next skin oh my god okay this is actually a really cool skin and it looks a little bit like bacon it looks like alligator bacon <laughs> uh but this is the p90 dragon skin and basically it's a p90 with dragon scales on it essentially it actually kind of does it looks like lava a little bit but it also looks like dragon scales and even like even the pink part right here even this part of the skin also has like scales on it too like that's a nice touch I, like if i didn't notice that like it would have been like okay whatever you know it's but no this is genuinely a really cool skin like is there any better now there aren't any better like inspects of it this is like from like the top down view i guess this is what it would look like if you're inspecting it and it's not too bad i mean i don't think a skin like this would be like a covert or whatever but this would definitely be really good as either a mil spec or a restricted skin and um, i mean there obviously are better p90s in the game but i mean the skin would kind of stand out like it would be kind of unique uh, and i feel like a lot of people would use it just because it's a cool design and you know it could be relatively cheap as well it could be a good budget p90 option if you don't want to go with the p90 asimov or anything crazy and also looks a little bit like bacon too not not really it has like little chantico's fire vibes with like the i guess the uh, the gold outlines with like the red uh, but it also has the scales too to make it its own unique skin altogether. Not not the nicest skin we've looked at today, but it's definitely kind of cool and it's, it would definitely be a unique touch to the game. So I feel like this has the potential to make it into the game. Maybe, <laughs> just maybe. So I'm gonna say yes. Next skin. Next up, we're gonna be checking out the Op Yin Yang. And this is kind of a weird skin. Like I feel like if it had like two different designs and if it got more battle scarred, it had the other design, that'd be really, really cool. Like what if there was like a design behind this one? Like, so this is the play side. Like what if the more scratched up it got, like what if there was another design behind it that looked like a different design if they made a chinese themed case this would definitely go in the game like 100 they would put this in there but uh, it basically has like there's like a little blue and blue white dragon bluish white dragon just chilling right over here and then if you look on the other side as well uh there's like this other dragon there's like a negative version of the dragon and it's actually it seems like the colors are negative so it's like the exact opposite of the other one but it's on the non-play side so I, I guess your teammates would be able to see both sides but you wouldn't be able to see the side unless you drop the skin or unless you i guess you could inspect it and do, wait do you check out the back side when you inspect the up i don't even know <laughs> like honestly this is actually a really cool unique idea and we haven't really seen anything like this before where there's like two completely different designs on opposite sides of the op so i would like to see this but i don't know if they would do like i don't know if they would go for it also there's a little uh, peace symbol right up here like the scope definitely looks really cool so i think it's a cool design but i don't know if valve would be like oh it's it well it's double-sided and there's like a different thing on each side but you can't see the i personally like it but what do you guys think do you guys think this is a cool looking skin and would, if this was in the game would you pick it up because i think i probably would all right next skin <laughs> all right so next up we're going to be checking out the ancient dragon i guess plus normal i don't even know and i definitely think they they've done a really good job so this is what it looks like when you're shooting it in the game so this is what it looks like in game normally when you hold it and it there's obviously other red deagles in the game but i think this would definitely be a good addition to the game since it's dragon themed i mean there's the kimicho dragon as well but i feel like this would be a red version kind of of the kimicho dragon and this is what it looks like when you fire it so it's definitely a really solid design like it's colorful it's kind of cartoony but it does look it's a cool design overall like it definitely looks really solid this is what it looks like when you inspect it and yeah like it's a pretty cool design it has like the little there's you can see the teeth uh, you can see the dragon's eye right there you can see some scales on it you can see the dragon's face they put a lot of care into making every little detail of this skin look really cool if this was in csgo i would def why was i don't know why this is in russian but if this is in the game i would definitely pick it up i think it's a sick design let me know in the comments down below and on to the final skin of the video because i don't want to make this last forever <laughs> so i'm gonna say yes for that one and let's check 
check out the last skin. And the last skin we're going to be checking out today is the AK-47 Phantom Disruptor. And as you can see, it is a really cool looking design. Basically, let's just check out all the little details right here because there's a, there's a lot going on here. This part of the AK kind of looks, it looks normal, but it's a little bit darker than usual. So it's, you know, they, they mix it up a little bit. Uh, also, this little rod right here, it's actually like red hot, so it definitely looks, uh, it doesn't look like the default AK. <laughs> People who make skins always use this to make the skins look more unique, and it definitely works. Uh, but as, uh, as for the design, it's kind of like a weird little monster with like a bunch of mouths and a bunch of like eyes. Here's a picture in game. Actually, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the black laminate. It's kind of like they took the AK black laminate, but they put an actual skin on top of it. And this is what it looks like normally. Oh, and that, that's actually really cool. I definitely think this is one of the, this is one of the cooler designs we've checked out today like it's basically it's just a weird monster and then of course right here on the back of the gun on the back of the ak there's a big eye and then there's a mouth right there just staring you in the face like you know this thing's gonna help you out it looks kind of creepy it looks like something out of a, out of like doom or whatever and i definitely think this would definitely stand out like it's different from every every ak skin out there this is kind of a weird skin it's like way different than anything that's out there currently but i think that's a good thing i guess the only thing that matters is it has a cool design and it looks unique i think those are the two things that really make the most sense i don't know if you guys like it as much as i do but this is i mean i don't know if they would ever put this in the game but if they put it in the game tomorrow i would 100 pick it up because it looks sick just everything about it looks good so let me know your thoughts guys what were some of your favorite skins that i checked out today uh let me know in the comments down below and if you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe click that bell icon and if you watch the video all the way until the end leave a comment saying hashtag turbo my favorite skin was this one or that one and let me know in the form of a hashtag what your favorite skin that we checked out today was and um do you guys think these skins are going to make it into the game also guys let me know if you want a follow-up and let me know if you want a part two of this because uh if you guys like this series i'll i'll keep it going where every episode we'll check out some more workshop skins and i'll give my thoughts on them so thank you guys so much for watching it's turbo and i'm out peace